Welcome to Inkscape for Teachers, Drawing a Cylinder Part 2. In this tutorial we'll apply some arrows and dimensions for the cylinder just to make it look a bit uh, better and explain the uh, dimensions and pronumerals. First thing I might do that I didn't do in the last video is draw a marquee around the cylinder and Control G to group it all together then click off. Next I wish to draw some arrows so I'll click the Bezier uh, tool and I think I can just eyeball that, click, hold down control and drag up to about there, click and enter to complete the line, S for the select tool or click the arrow, click off, screen, off the diagram, a bit thin so if I reselect it and click on my fill and stroke toolbox you can bring that up by clicking on this icon here if you haven't already and I'm going to change that to 0.7 enter, it's a bit better. I'm going to put a, an end arrow on here coming down to here, I think that one's about right you can try, try different arrows to suit I'll click on that arrow now, Control D to duplicate uh, flip it in a horizontal axis Control drag it up to about there I might just adjust that end point a bit, hold down Control Click on this arrow, hold down control, just a bit more space for the pronumeral. Uh, now I will click the arrow, one of the arrows, and draw D to duplicate, flip it 90 degrees, and drag it into position down here. Now you can either do the radius or the diameter, whatever suits, I'll just, I think I'll do diameter. And I'll duplicate that, flip it in a vertical axis. Hold down control and drag it across to about there. Might lengthen that arrow a little bit. Likewise the other one. Okay, now we're ready for the, the text. If I click on the text tool, click over here and type H for height. In the select tool, I'm going to bring up the text and fonts toolbox. You can click on this T here to bring that up if it's not there already. Times New Roman is a more sort of standard publishing convention for pro numerals so I'll find that uh, here where are we? a bit further down once I get into the T's, there we go Times New Roman, Italic and Apply it's annoying that you have to click Apply but that's the, the case in Inkscape looks a bit small, I might just resize here by Control click there Yep, looks about right, and drag that into position. If I select all of these arrow parts in the Pro Numeral, then the Align and Distribute toolbox, if it's not up, you can click this icon here. I'll align them vertically, click in there, and I'll distribute the uh, gap, vertical gaps, click in this icon, that looks pretty good. If I click on the H and Control D to duplicate, drag it into position here, and some reason I got into trouble before by trying to double click directly so I'm going to click off then double click, that's better drag across and type D for diameter click the select tool again uh, select all of those parts let's align the middles and distribute the horizontal gaps there click off screen, I'll select everything to group, control G and click off and that looks pretty good I could select everything again and go Control C and then open up Word and Control V to paste it into Word. But that uh, concludes our tutorial. Thanks for watching.